Hello everyone, my name is Devatron and welcome back to a brand new Skyblock episode. So yes, we're going to take on E-Man Tier 3 today with the usual setup, which is Final Destination Armor with the goggles. We got the spoon, we got the Reaper Scythe, and yeah, we, we may have made some stuff already, but hey, we'll find that out in the, the next few clips, so let's roll them. Right, so we did miss it, but I did level up my Enderman Slayer. Let's go, man. Oh boy, here we go. So we get the Juju Short by Recipe. The Soul Flow Battery Recipe. Well, Soul Flow Engine. Uh, yeah, just Soul Flow Engine upgrade. We get the Vorpal Katana and we get the Grimlock Grimoire, which I'm pretty sure is good if you're running tank in M7. So not might, might be worth a pickup, but this is the main thing. This is the Juju. Oh boy. And it costs a pretty penny. I won't lie. Uh... This is not too bad to get these. I guess they will come with time. But yeah. Oh boy, let's claim this bad boy. And there we go. And so the next level, we get the Gyro Kinetic Wand, Aspect of the Void, Atom Split Katana, and the Sin Seeker Scythe. So this is really good. Really good for floor six. I'm actually going to, I'm very tempted to actually pick one up just for that floor. But yeah, Aspect of the Void. Yes, please. And yeah, we'll probably go for the Atom Split. As I said in when I made the Final Destination Armor into Mage, I'll go for a, a melee kind of build with a new set of armor and I'll grind that up with the kills. So yeah, I'll probably do that, then pick up that sword and craft it. But yeah, let's keep grinding because these, these Null Viz ain't going to grind themselves, unfortunately. I have Wither Spectres. It's going to be a bit difficult because I did try it earlier. They did die. And yeah, but survivability wise, I'm okay. As long as I keep my distance, it's free. I just need these guys to stay alive. That's why I bought this along, just in case I need to do a little bit more. Um, let's spawn it. And we need to do this. And they should take it. Take the first phase down. Yeah, they did. Okay. And you spawn behind me. That's that's not very nice. But yeah, look at look how how good it is. Oh, there we go. Ow. But yeah, look at the survivability. He hit me a good few times. And I'm good. Where'd he go? There he is. Are we actually about to do this? We are. There's no shot. We did it. The first time. <laughs> There's no shot. We killed it first time. <laughs> okay. Cool. We could do tier threes. <laughs> I didn't actually think we would... Oh, who am I kidding? We, we, we have staff. This thing is goaded. 0.25% on your mana on hit. This is probably good for staff, right? I should put this on. Yeah. If that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. I should be able to kill it. Yep, I did it. And I got another mana still. Let's go. Just in case people want to watch it as like the raw stream. Which is something I like to do. I just like to go back. Here we go. Come again. Oh, we got no atom. That one in the bag. I needed one of them. Playing it risky here. They're playing it risky. He risked. Oh, has my Enderman. No shot. Well, I needed another nine of these, or another eight of them. And we got a mana still. Let's go. There we go. Hey, another hazmat. That's two out of uh, nine. We got another mana still book. I think that's. Man yeah, I can get mana still free. Oh, I'm in the anvil. Mm -hmm. Man is still free. Nice. That should make it a little bit cool, nicer. God, that could have... Hey, no atom. Let's go. Two out of three. Let's frag this thing. Finally. Boom. And there we go. It goes back to the door textures. It goes back to the actual spoon. Oh, that's adorable. Right. No worries, macro. No worries. Okay, it's still same amount of damage. Okay. Oh, no. It's fine. I need three stock of stonks. That is ultra cringe. I have two. Oh, that's so cringe. Okay, well, I guess we can't do that today then. There we go. Yay! We got one. This is a good feeling. There we go. One transmission tuner. And now I go a little bit further. 
There we go. And I got the last null atom. Nice. And just like that, combat level 50. Let's go, dude. 10 more to 60. So just doing my dailies on the Crimson Isle and I now have the brown belt. Here we go. Ah, oh, happy days. Okay, so we have enough stuff to upgrade our Void Edge Katana. So let's go ahead and do so. So we're going to need to make one of these. We put three stacks on either side. There we go. So the null edge, we put that there. The Void Edge Katana there. Then four on each side. And then we just need eight. And there we go. We love bad line by destroying the textures. But there we go. Fabled Warple Katana. Oh, excellent. So I don't think there's anything else we need to put on this. I think this is as max as we can get it other than like an ultimate en enchant but i don't think we would need one so this goes from uh, dealing 100 so this goes from dealing 200 damage to enderman to 250 and we receive nine less damage from enderman when held from six percent and we gain 300 ferocity when we do the right click which is absolutely awesome and we have the soul flow to actually use this ability so it's really good so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get this or these three pieces to 10k and then i'll throw on the helmet and just try and get the size i can that sh it should be okay i'll say i'll change this over to probably fierce for the time being until we do some four sevens but yeah should be good also let's upgrade the talisman real quick there we go soul flow battery awesome and we want this off yeah there we go we want that off because yeah i don't want to be wasting my soul flow so yeah but in there we go and we have i think we got like an extra two from that so that's cool so now i'm gonna go over the tutorial side as i know just from watching it it may be a bit confusing so here we go i'm gonna start off with the armor and all the gear and then we're gonna go on to like some tips and tricks that i found so for the armor i'm using it's the necrotic wither goggles and for the rest it's free force final destination with loving on the chest pay and necrotic on the leggings and boots so here are all the enchants for all the pieces of armor on screen if you want to pause to note these down and get them yourselves then go ahead and do so i'm sticking with wisdom on this obviously you'd want wisdom five for all pieces but if you want to run refrigerate that's absolutely fine as well the main weapon of course is the spoon this is fragged but it doesn't have the 500 mil which i'm probably using about two mil damage from this i reckon so you may do a bit more damage, you may do a bit less. It all depends on how much money you have on your spoon. The next item, which is crucial, is the Reaper Scythe with three Wither Spectres in it. And you'll use this to get hits face down. Now, there is a little trick that I found to make them not die as often. So stay tuned. For the equipment, I'm using Ender Necklace, the Vanquish Gas Cloak, the Ender Belt and the Ender Gauntlet. Now, these are all reforged to Brilliant for that little extra mana. And the reason I'm using Ender Gear is because the stats are doubled whilst in the end. So that really helps out. And the Vanquish Ghost Clark, you get a little bit of health regen. So you can never go wrong with that. So yeah, that's all the gear and now we're going to go into the actual gameplay. So as soon as the boss spawns, you want to right click your summons down as soon as he spawns. So the Wither Spectres go directly up to the tier 3 and start taking his shields down. Now I find doing this straight away has made it so the Wither Spectres rarely ever die. Because what I think it is, if I go 10 meters back and then spawn them, they get damaged by the aura by the E-Man and then they just sort of die from his regular attacks. So yeah, TLDR, as soon as his hit face goes up, go up to him, you can tank a hit. I promise you now, you can tank at least one hit, put them down, then run back and use healing items if you need to. And then once hits face down, you just smack him with your spoon. Now he will teleport around, I find after a few seconds he teleports. And if you're not too careful, he will teleport behind you and do a lot of damage, like put you down to like one hit. So my honest advice is sort of go around in circles with him, just take him on a little journey, sort of like Rev Tier 5s, where you're constantly backpedaling and going around in circles, but instead, you know, this is E-Man. And since you're using a spoon, obviously take advantage of that distance. So once he goes into hit phase again, just spawn your Wither Spectres down right in front of him, or really close to him, should I say. And they should take down the shield quickly, and then you can just do damage with spoon, and it's, it's just the same thing over and over again. And now if you're fast enough, you can completely skip one of the beacons, which is very nice. And when he's in his final phase, he'll throw out a skull and he'll probably throw out a beacon. But if you're fast enough, you don't have to care at all about the skull or the beacon because you can just kill him straight away. Now you can see I'm doing about 3.6 mil damage. So I, I can do this without even having to worry about beacons or the skulls. 
So yeah, if you're still having trouble, let me know and I'll try and help you down in the comments. But if this did help you out, then please let me know as I want to do more of these like tutorial types because I know how it is doing this first try and not being successful and trying to, you know, find information online on how to make it easier. I know how it is. I know how it goes. So please reach a hand out and I'll definitely help you guys out. Yeah, another transmission tuner. Let's go and add this bad boy on. Oh yes, now 10 blocks. Let's go. It's no shot. I just got two back to back. Oh yes, let's go. So I only need one more for AT, then it's all done. I have all the transmission tuners. Then I can just send them off into the rift. Nice. Oh, let's go. I got the last one. Oh, 12 blocks. Yippee. And there we go. E-man tier six. Ah. Happy days. Oh, it's skyblock level up. So right, let's, let's, let's have a look. We took our time, I know. I know I took my time, but we got it. Uh, yeah, E-man. So now we have Gyro, Aspect of the Void, Atom Split, and Sin Seeker. Nice. What's, what's the next one? Soulflow Supercell, Ethel Warp Conduit. Oh, that's what I need. I need to get E-man level 7 and the Ender Relic. And there's Term. Right, does the, do bosses drop anything? Are these? Yeah, they're all from tier 4. All right, we got E-man tier 6. Sweet. Man, what a W this episode. We managed to get E-Man level 6. We managed to frag the spoon, but unfortunately we can't put it up to 500 mil. And we got enough transmission tuners to fully max out the aspect of the end. So that is absolutely awesome. So next episode, you'll see me crafting the Juju short bow. Yes, uh, the second best bow in the game. I finally craft it and I enchant it, reforge it and all that. And I do some testing to see how it goes. So stay tuned for that. So with all that said, I'm going to thank you all so much for watching. If you did like this video, smash that like button down below. Remember to subscribe to my channel, see more future content like this. And make sure you go in the description, check out my social media. Make sure you join the bike inside with our community discord. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone and may the force be with you.